Face to Face, Praying the Scriptures for Intimate Worship by Kenneth Boa. First month, day 13. Adoration. O Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You understand my thoughts from afar. You scrutinize my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You've enclosed me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is too lofty for me to attain. Psalm 139, one through six. Pause to express your thoughts of praise and worship. Confession, O Lord, be gracious to me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Psalm 41, 4. Ask the Spirit to search your heart and reveal any areas of unconfessed sin. Acknowledge these to the Lord and thank Him for His forgiveness. Renewal. May I not worry about my life, what I will eat or what I will drink, or about my body, what I will wear. Life is more than food and the body more than clothes. The birds of the air do not sow or reap or gather into barns, and yet you, my heavenly Father, feed them. Am I not much more valuable than they? Can I add a single hour to my life by worrying? And why do I worry about clothes? I will consider how the lilies of the field grow. They neither labor nor spin. Yet not even Solomon in, his splen in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. But if you so clothe the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, you will you not much more clothe me? So may I not worry, saying, what shall I eat, or what shall I drink, or what shall I wear? For the pagans run after these things, or you, my heavenly Father, know that I need them. But may I seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, and all these things will be added to me. Matthew six twenty-five through 33, Luke twelve twenty-two through 31. May I be more concerned about the things of God than the things of man. Mark 8, 33. Pause to add your own prayers for personal renewal. Petition. May I follow your commands and precepts and be careful to observe them, for this is my wisdom and understanding in the sight of others. Deuteronomy 4, 5, and 6. Pause here to offer prayers of petition regarding your family and your ministry. Ask for help and guidance in sharing Jesus with others and helping others grow in him. Ask for guidance in your vocation and your avocations. Offer prayers of petition regarding your activities for this day and any special concerns you may have. Intercession, let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy because you defend them. And let those who love your name be joyful in you. Psalm 511. Take a few moments to intercede on behalf of local, national, and world missions. Pray that the Great Commission will be fulfilled and for any special concerns you may have for missions. Affirmation, to fear you, Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. Job 28, 28. Who are those that fear you? You will instruct them in the way they should choose. Psalm 25, 12. Blessed is everyone who fears you, Lord, and who walks in your ways. Psalm 128, 1. 
You take pleasure in those who fear you, O Lord, who put their hope in your unfailing love. Psalm 147, 11. Pause to reflect on these biblical affirmations. Thanksgiving, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your promises. I will see you again, and your heart will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. And in that day, you will not ask me any questions. I tell you the truth, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Ask and you will receive, that your joy may be full. John 16, 22 through 24. You, Father, love me because I have loved Jesus and I have believed that he came forth from you. John 16, 27. Pause to offer your own expressions of thanksgiving. Closing prayer. You have shown me what is good and what you do require of me. But to ask justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with you, my God. Micah 6, 8. We will all stand before your judgment seat, O God, for it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee will bow before me, and every tongue will confess to God. So then each of us will give an account to you. Romans 14, 10 through 12. Amen.